Hey guys, Marty Boots here. Today's the 1st of September 2019. Um, one of those subscribers, Kpuff, wanted me to do this video on Ripple. So uh, I thought I would look through the charts. And if anyone else wants uh, any charts looked at, please let me know in the comments below. So everybody's been wondering, what is going on with Ripple? Is it ever going to bounce? You know, if so, when? Um, you know, it's just been a drastic, uh, drastic downtrend. I mean, I don't think there's anybody left uh, holding this that is making money at the moment. Um, you know, you, you can just see the spikes have just been terrible, very short-lived. You know, short-lived, short-lived, short-lived. Um, you know, if you miss the initial spike, there's there's a little bit of room to make some money. You know, but if you're if you're a long-term holder, obviously you're you're left holding the bag. And again, you know, both of these other two times, one, two, three. Well, that was four weeks. Um, so if you didn't get in on the on the first two weeks, you know, you, you're you're left holding the bag. If you got in an early early on the trend, you know, you're 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 still doing not too bad um, as far as accumulation for a long-term hold goes. Again, even even on this spike at the very start back at 2017. Um, you know, if you if you miss that initial spike, it, you're you're behind the game. So you need to be in early. Is uh, is the secret to Ripple? So can we find a buy point? Let's look at the charts. I'll just look at the daily here very quickly. <clears throat> you can see here this this is not a bullish. Um, bullish consolidation it, it can possibly be a bullish consolidation but it, it, it is not at this present point in time um you know you, ha you have to consider this as bearish action you know it's, it's a bear flag there, there's no question about that it is a bear flag now what could happen is this may have a failure to the downside uh somewhere somewhere around there which would negate that bear flag we have a quick spike up and then maybe some more chop now something like that would be a possible failure to the downside and then maybe we can get that bounce and obviously your your first test would be in here now if you look at if you look at you have a previous pivot here you want price to get above this and retest possibly and then then move higher that would be ideal that would that would show here that this resistance has now become support so that is what you that is what you're looking for that is the ideal situation because price uh should retest to, um to confirm resistance now is a uh, support um if i mm, we'll do it in the daily or weekly okay uh let me just wipe all this stuff here i just want to show you um you can see here if i just show you very briefly you can see here so what happened previously price broke down here price did break up it broke down it retested and became support it retested previous resistance now becomes support and then you get that uh, extra move up then when price bro rolled back down price broke down here broke down and then you, can you see that let me just zoom in here so everybody can see it now what happened right here price price retested now it became resistance again so it was a failure price failed below and uh, retested got rejected and then, and then we broke down so what needs to happen here guys on a daily chart you know price needs to get above this green line first and foremost um if we are going to do anything at all um if we if we reject off this you know and, and then keep going down i mean that, that's very possible now if the price does get up here and and test this blue 50 moving average daily moving average and then maybe retest down here you can look for the buy point here somewhere in here you can look for that and play that retest 
Now that that is the safe play. Just buying here right now is not a safe play on XRP, and I'll 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 get into the higher time frames and show you why. This is the weekly time frame. Um, you know, at this point in time, yes, we are oversold. Um, but there is no. Let me just uh, delete that. But there is there is it is oversold, and and you know, it's the probably it's the first time in the history of XRP that we are this oversold on the RSA. Now sometimes people think that yes, um, I want to I want to buy this because we're oversold. Here we were oversold. If you look at right here, we touched in the oversold territory for the first time ever. Um, where was that? That was there. You know, price had a small bounce. It still dropped 60%. That does not look like 60%, guys, but we still dropped 60% from this oversold level. Prices can remain oversold for a long time. So just because this is in the first time really oversold levels, it doesn't really mean anything. We can still drift lower. All these moving averages are above price right now. Um, and that's going to suppress price. But yes, there is that curl starting to happen. And when that curl starts to happen, price can actually start to claim the moving averages. That That is a possibility. Um, now, we don't have that sign yet to buy XRP. That, we, we do not have that sign yet. Um, now, months ago, months ago, XRP was way up here, and we were bearish on XRP. We said XRP was going to drop, and XRP even got to this point uh, where this trend line says, and because of this rolled over structure, rolled over structures, guys, are very bad. They are not a sign of strength. They are very bad, and they will most likely go lower 80% of the time. Here is another lower uh, rolled structure. Rolled structure, it went lower. Here is another rolled structure, price went lower. Here's a large rolled structure, price went lower. They are not good, guys. If you see rolled structures on charts, short. Look for a short, look for a safe short entry. Now, nothing is certain in, in the stock market, in the crypto market, whatever, um, but they are generally a, a good short. Now, I want to move on quickly. Time is passing here, seven months, eight months. <clears throat> so you can see here right now, um, XRP is into support. It's into trend line support. Now, I don't really like this trend line support. I mean, I do think it will break. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, I lost this uh, little tool here to wipe this. Okay. Um, so I, yeah, I don't really like this. Now there is, there is support here and that is why we are basing here. That is why we are get, finding this support. So there may be a bit of a bounce. Um, so if price does get back above here, there may be a bounce. As you can see now, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, onto the ninth red candle in a row. This is the worst losing streak in the history of XRP. So, you know, there is the possibility that we get a bounce this month, and that would that would uh, that would show that, that we get above this uh, the green line here and, and retest and maybe have that bit of a bounce. Now, I would expect possibly if it's going to happen, you know, I do expect some sort of bearish pattern like that and then most likely uh, we head lower you know that that would be a, a bear flag scenario uh, a little bit like I suppose that there's another rolled there's another rolled structure guys you can see price rolling over what happened we went lower um, anyway I, I, I would expect some sort of a sideways action with potential you know, there's potential for, for that bounce here. So we, we, we do have to watch that very carefully. Um, now, but what I actually think is, I think XRP is headed down here. I think we're going to try and test this pivot. Um, actually, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here. 
down here i think there will be a lot of stops just down here and we're just in that area we're here right now um and i'll show you this in a different chart in a minute i do think this area is a lot of support sorry if i didn't extend this all out um and i just want to show you why well you, you can see i know that's a bit of a big area to look at guys but you can see here uh where's the brush you can see this wick this wick this wick this wick uh this was the breakdown wick 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 um almost a wick uh this wick but we this is when we broke up but it, it was um and, and then in here and now we're back in here so this area guys is very very important very important so it, it's into a crucial area i know that looks like a complete mess now but you can see it's resistance resistance uh, support support resistance 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 and support now we are coming back in after nine months to the downside if my memory was correct and there should be some very good support here which can enable us to get that maybe relief rally and the bounce would take us up into these drop and moving averages so if if we get that uh bounce sorry guys one second if we get that bounce in this in here you know we can bounce here you know ripple can have that 50 to 100 percent bounce um because look where it's going to bounce to look at this previous structure right in there see this previous i know the chart's getting a bit messy here now but you can see what i'm saying it's going to bounce right up into this previous structure which is also this moving average um resistance and, and then we will probably roll over and maybe go lower again but as you can see uh pardon me that is a 83 percent bounce from down in here so it is um it, it is a very a very critical area down in here and we we just touched that we just touched that area so we do need to be on guard and i want to show you my next chart that i've got to show you is uh that that is our area this this is our area that we really need to be watching now let me keep going here 12 minutes can't seem to do these videos any quicker um okay so do, 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 do. now again you can see that area that that is a, that is a similar area down here and if, if you look at a three month chart you can see here it's let me get uh this so it's resistance support support it's resistance 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 um we didn't really touch it on this one again resistance now it becomes support now it's support so this area guys should be this month we should hit this this uh this period this area of this month that it really should be because um the daily is fairly bearish if, I, if we look at this it's a bit of a bear pattern so if we can get that drop uh let me what is this two that's 2041 you know that that is 2041 so that that is down into that area here so it's not that much of a drop so basically it would just be a pierce of these previous lows and then you can start to look for buys on xrp in my opinion um let me let me show you what a, a six month chart is looking at looking like again um a six month chart doesn't show it as clearly but you can also again see well that is that is even lower that will be the next um major level which is even lower that's 1400 that is if this fails this is your next level to look at you can see this pivot you can see the rejection on a six month chart rejection on a six month chart and support on a six month chart so that, that that'll be your next critical level um 
uh, on a yearly chart i have drew the same thing earlier as earlier very very important um if if this uh 2000 2000 level if that level breaks then your next level is 1400 roughly you can see that um down in here where the yearly candles have met um, i think it's good because when you're trying to catch a fall knife here guys we don't have any any support levels really um except for some of these way down here now you don't always use these but when you don't have anything else you know you, you can just try and go use these for for stuff to uh support levels to look at um so that is it guys uh i think the your first level is around the 2000 level that that is uh the first buy point now what i want to uh what do they want to show you here oh uh, well as as you know uh ripple continues dumping billions of xrp on the market crashing the price now i think now you can correct me on that but i think that this continues until 2021 so that is not good for price for the next uh you know for the, for the next year or so i mean long term that, that it is not good um you can see here i've just got this quick chart up here and it shows the the continued increase in supply of xrp so as long as this is increasing guys it is putting pressure on xrp you know it's always going to be putting pressure there will be buys and there will be bounces but if they're going to keep increasing the supply guys it's not good and i think that goes until 2021 correct me if i'm wrong in the comments please because i would like to know myself so uh, i'm just going to finish it with this so you know it's basically saying if they're going to keep printing we can come down here into 2021 and then that price down here i don't know i don't know what level like maybe we'll test this area down here again it's very messy but if they stop printing that can allow price to finally move higher because i know that in the escrow they, they store coins and after the 55 months these coins will be wiped um whenever that time is and if they are going to wipe them and, and take supply take coins out of supply that will skyrocket the price of ripple that ripple will absolutely skyrocket even on the news of that when it's coming closer to the time so that in my in my in my head i think that is in 2021 but correct me if i'm wrong so that's it guys i'm gonna leave it there 17 minutes uh for the video it's a little bit of a deeper dive on xrp um so i hope this helps um for all the xrp lovers out there uh i will be looking to buy this as well um possibly at that two thousand dollar level i will keep an eye on it um i i do like this 2200 level it's just a retest of this uh support here you can see over here support so 2-2 two, two is my first area of watch and then the 2000 they are uh, a very very good area to uh, to keep an eye on so that is where i will be looking to try and buy this in a for a bounce anyway guys uh thanks for watching if you like the content please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to join us in our discord trading room uh, please hit us up in the link below for a three-day free trial. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.